22 fool you. He's the most mature 22 year old I've ever seen and probably the strongest. He is inside and outside the ring. A very articulate and interesting young man to talk to and he knows his craft in the ring as well. He's honing his style. Introducing in the red corner formerly of Tonga now fighting out of Phoenix Arizona weighing in at 192 and three quarter pounds with a professional record of 39 wins one defeat two draws and 36 KOs ladies and gentlemen introducing the challenger Tony Buliangi and in the blue corner from Philadelphia Pennsylvania weighing 191 and three quarter pounds his professional record consists of 18 wins two defeats with 15 KOs he is the NABF Bruiserweight champion Smokin Burt Cooper you see your gloves Tommy you see your gloves Burt let's see this guy on the altar that's fine that's the abdomen fine Okay, gentlemen, I've given your instructions in the dressing room. I want you to adhere to them and listen to my commands, especially the commander break. I want no lay hits after that bell. Good luck to both of you. And so we're set to go. 12 rounds for the NABF North American Boxing Federation Cruiserweight Championship. Fred Cooper is the defending champion, and Tony Fulalange trying to challenge, and this is one that nobody should go to the refrigerator early. You're right, Al, and Fulalange looked very, very nervous to me, Al. Very nervous and very tight. But we talked about that. Now, you can't be that way against Cooper because he is a quick starter. I've seen him in a series of one-round knockouts, and he can get off to a quick start, and you see evidence of it here, right here. Fulalange looks like he is completely out of it right now, Gil. He looks like he's not really sure what he's doing. He looked like he was hypnotized while the referee was giving him instructions, Al. Maybe if he gets hit a shot or two, it might wake him up. Of course, against Cooper, you or get hit a shot or two. Or might... or put him to sleep. Yes, one or the other. Cooper using the jab very well. There's an overhand right and a hook. That's it. Bert Cooper always comes out of the gate quick, and he's doing it tonight against Tony Fulalangi. Round one, it is scheduled for 12, though very few at ringside believe it'll go that long. We'll see. Your head up, Tony. It's all Bert Cooper right now. Ulalangi has thrown almost nothing. Very weak right hand. Cooper's problem sometimes has been stamina late in a fight, but early in those first two or three rounds, he's always dangerous. Fulalangi is showing me a little better defense than I thought he had, Al. Uh, Bert Cooper's thrown a lot of punches, but not too many have landed. That's true. The jab by Fulalangi comes with his first good shot of the fight, really. Tony came in here with a 39-1 and 2 record. That's a wonderful record, but he has not fought nearly the kind of opponents that Bert Cooper has, so equals things out considerably. Cooper missing a lot, but there's a good straight right hand. And another. That may that may have woke Fulalangi up. He smiled after he got hit with the punch. The right is not Cooper's best punch, but he's got power in it. Overhand right gets there by Fulalangi. It's been a Burt Cooper first round, pretty typical of what he normally does. Gil, do you get the feeling that Cooper really came in here trying to work his jab? It hasn't always been his big strength. Well, he's in with an awkward guy. He's much, much the better technician. So against the Fulalangi, he can use a good stiff jab. But it better be stiff for Fulalangi. That one, it's one thing he does do is throw right hands over that jab. Yes, jab. and he's landed a couple against Bert Cooper, too. We're headed toward the end of round one. Overhand right gets there by Cooper to punctuate what, for him, was a superb first round. Bert's happy. Well, that one missed, but he's coming up with it here. Good straight right hand. Yeah, there it is. Well, he was a little off balance, Alan. 
It, it wasn't as effective a punch as it looked because uh, Fulalangi's feet uh, were even. He was off balance. And it looked from now, another now, angle. If you can watch his feet instead of break right you see the way his feet were? Yeah. We're headed for round two in the scheduled 12 rounder. The NABF Cruiserweight Championship on the line. Bert Cooper in the black trunks. In the white, it is Tony Fulalangi. You know, uh, we thought that uh, Fulalangi was going to go out and really take chances and wing punches. Just the opposite. They're trying to have him box. They told him to use his jab and try to box uh, a Bert Cooper. That really is surprising. Rich Wombold in there. I guess they want him to, to try and establish the jab so maybe he can make some of those big shots work off it, but it's not usually his style. Well, you know, there is an old saying in boxing. If you can't hit a guy with a jab, you can't hit him with anything. It's true. Cooper with a good right hand. Bird at 22 with that 18-2 and two record. 15 KOs speaks to his power. The only two losses, one to... Carl the Truth Williams, and also to Reggie Gross, a fight in which he got a thumb in the eye and really kind of quit. And some people questioned his heart after that fight, but Bert Cooper has heart. Now, when you get thumbed in the eye, it's a terrible experience. I mean, you, you, your equilibrium goes, you, you can't see. And remember, the two guys that beat him were two big heavyweights. Yes. We've talked some already about at this weight, Bert Cooper is a very tough man to deal with. We're grabbing it, Tony. Punch it out of there. Come on, punch it out of there. So I'm really surprised that Fulalanki, he looks very lethargic in there, Al. Nothing going on, and you would have thought he would be, as we talked about at the beginning, really be trying to turn this into a brawl. He landed a right. There it is again. Right hand by Cooper. But, Gil, I don't know how you feel about it. I think Cooper's real power is in the left hook. Oh, except for that uppercut looked good. <laughs> Bert Cooper teeing off now. Looks like he's ready to go down. Referee should have wiped his gloves off then now as the gloves hit the canvas. Cooper working well on the inside. Again, the upper punch. Well, he's so much better technically now. He throws those short punches. Fulalangi on the ropes and in all kinds of trouble. But lands a right hand. Two good shots. He may have hurt Cooper. And now it's what we expected it to be, a brawl. In my opinion, that's the only shot that Fulalangi has. Has to gamble. He, he did hurt Bert Cooper. He got Bert, Bert Cooper's respect with that punch. Well, the right hand is what started it. You pointed out before that was the punch Fulalangi could land. Oh, a good right hand by Bert Cooper. We're headed toward the end of the second, and things really picked up here. That flurry off the ropes really saved Fulalangi. Otherwise, Cooper may have put him out right there. That'll do it for round two. Bert's still smiling, but he took some punishment toward the end of that round, and uh, they will jump in and have a talk with him. Bert, you had it. I know, but it's still fun. All right, all right. I get all the Don't here. forget about the hook. Finish Bert. He's leaning right over for that hook. You hear me? He's leaning over for that hook, just like Porter was, man. Finish with your hook. Got it? Yeah. When he staggers back, jump on him like a cat. Bing, 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 bing. When he staggers back. Touch him down here, bring the right hand over the top. Work his body a little bit. Get some hands down. Good, man. Good, man. Get, get, get some good. hands down, Bert. Make okay. him drop some hands. Work that body now. Okay. Action in the corner, and uh, Gil, this this saved Tony Fulalangi, I think. Al, not only it saved him, but it, it, it changed it changed Bert Cooper mentally. Took a lot of confidence away from uh, from Bright Cooper. He backed off and he fought at long range for the rest of that round. And he didn't seem so full of confidence in the corner. There's Tony Fulalangi coming out for round three. You know, Al, Bert Cooper had three guys in the corner talking to him. They covered every base. I mean, they didn't miss anything. Good body work by Bert Cooper. He's an excellent body puncher, though we haven't seen that much of it yet. Cooper using his jab very effectively. And there's a tapping right hand by Fula. Oh, good straight left by Tony. 
Cooper's mouth is now wide open, and it's only the third round. Well, if there's been a problem for him, it's that. He gets tired. Usually not this early, but he does get tired. It happened in the fight with Reggie Gross. It happens when he uh, when he beat Tyrone Booz back in August of 1986. Beat him in 12, retaining his NABF Cruiserweight title. And he got very tired up in Lake Tahoe in the altitude and nearly lost that fight. I just about made it. Yeah, just barely. So if Kululangi can keep this fight going, it may bode well for him. Tony hurt in the second round, came back to stun Cooper, and he's landing. Good body work. Well, Cooper's wide open, Gil. Wide open, and, and Fulalangi is making a miss. And when he misses, is he wide open? And one big punch in a fight like this can change okay, everything, you know? Box it out there, box it out there. And there was a big punch out. What a left hook. Watch them heads, I'll let you stay there. Cooper on the inside has abandoned the uppercut that was so effective for him, but there's a two-punch combination. One of them blocked. Keep block. him up, keep him up, keep him up. We're in round three. It's scheduled for 12, and there's been some big shots landed like that right hand. Left hook staggers through Lulangi. Partially blocked, but it still hurt him. Guy takes, Lulangi takes a great rap, Al. Does he ever. Wailing away, and Cooper ducks everything. The jab by Cooper. Gil, it seems like they're trying to throw a home, home run ball with every shot. Well, when, when that happens, Al, if both guys throw it at the same time, whoever gets there first is with the most is, is going to be the winner. It's the kind of fight you can see both guys going down at the same time. It's happened. Right hand by Cooper. So here in round three, Bert Cooper again dominating. There's blood on the face of Fulalangi. I think it's over his left eye. It'll do it for the third round. A torturous round for Tony Fulalangi. That cut, I think, is over the right eye. So it just likes a, li a little nick in the corner of the eye. Al, he got it early in the round. Look at me. Look at me. You got to get out here and work on this guy. Well, right now, Batman for Cooper knows what's working for him. He's got the jab working, occasionally uses the uppercut. And um, he's had some left hooks mixed in there also. Round four action, and action's the operative word. Now Fulalangi is bleeding from the nose. Good right gets in by Fulalangi. The 27-year-old now fighting out of Phoenix has power, and he's hurt Bert Cooper once or twice in this fight, but his lack of ring skills has hurt him. Good stiff jab by, by Cooper. Another good stiff jab. Back to the first round when Cooper was doing it, and Fulalangi Hits him with a right. Many thought this fight would be over by now, but instead they've traded big bombs and they're still there. Fulangi with a three-punch combination. And the jab. You, know, you almost get the feeling it's as if these guys are doing impressions of boxers rather than sluggers. That's right. Fulalangi is a lot better technically than he's ever shown before. Keeping his hands up good and high, moving his head a little bit. But they, he has to do an awful lot with his footwork. Uh, he's off balance so often. And Bert Cooper is a good technical fighter. And he just lands a couple of good shots. And the jab. Cooper content to use the jab. His jab has been the, the better of the two men. A combination by Tony Fulalangi. He's one tough guy. He took the best Cooper could offer. Good combination by Burt. But Burt Cooper is backing up, and that is a strange posture for him. Just got nailed to the 
situation. A right hand hurt him, but there goes Fulalongi. Right after Cooper got hurt, there goes Tony Fulalongi. Just what we talked about, Al. Once they trade great punches, whoever gets there first Seven. does it. Eight. The count's at eight, and he barely beats the count of ten. It's over. Toby Gibson has seen enough. And Burt Cooper retains his NABF Cruiserweight Championship, but it wasn't easy. It was ironic that his best work came twice in this fight when he was hurt, Cooper. That's right. Well, what happened as soon as Fulalongi got him, got him hurt, he forgot to be cautious. He was go everything to the wind, and either he was going to knock out Cooper or get knocked out himself. And again, the guy with the better technical skill, the faster hands, beat him to the punch. And if you beat a guy to a punch like that, that's it. And with the power of Burt Cooper, if he's going to beat you to the punch, he's probably going to knock you out. And this was a right hand now that, that he did the job with. He can do it with either hand. That's true. People think of him as a left hook artist, but uh, the right hand has got plenty of power as well. All right, let's take a look at some of the action in the earlier round. Good straight right hand by Tony Fulalongi and a left hook and another right hand. But here he goes, he's winging. And when you wing, there's his, his feet, he was off balance, he got nailed with a perfect punch. Got beat to the punch, he was punching wide, Cooper was punching short. That's the name of the game. There's that big right hand again, different angles, same combinations. Good left hook, and there's that straight right hand. That's why we train them so hard in the gym. You have to throw them quick and you have to throw them short. That was the difference in this fight. The fact that Fulalongi is a winger and Bert Cooper is a well-schooled fighter. Now you see Cooper moving around the ring looking to measure him. Got nailed himself. Back with the left hook. Back with the right hand again. Here's Fulalongi wide open and down he goes. Ladies and gentlemen, the time, two minutes, 44 seconds of the fourth round. Referee Toby Gibson stops the bout. The winner by a TKO and still NABF Cruiser weight champion, Spoken Burt Cooper. Oh,